Hello, hello, it's Tanya Dalton, owner of Inkwell Press, and I'm here for another episode of Tanya TV. Today I want to talk to you about one of my favorite ways to boost productivity, and that is using traditions and automations, recurring events that happen again and again to really take the thinking out of it and allow you to enjoy the moment. So what I want to talk to you about today is our family's weekly planning routine. So make sure to hit subscribe because I'll have new videos all the time. So you might be asking yourself, why do I need to plan together with my family? Well, honestly, it really does help set a culture for your family. And a lot of times when we think about that word culture, we think about for a country or a company. But your family culture is just as important because that's what establishes your morals, your ethics and the values that you want to pass down to your children. And that helps to create this team mentality that I think is really important for our families. It allows us to work together to support one another. When things are rough for one family member, the rest of the team comes in and helps support them. And I think that's really important. This team mentality is something that I've been working on with my family since they were really, really little. And I think it really has helped us as we've gone through difficult times as a family because we know we're going to pull together. But even more so, it helps boost your productivity. You've probably heard me say that we wanna take the thinking out of it as much as we possibly can when it comes to tasks and events. And that's what good traditions and recurring events really do for us. They allow us to stop worrying and thinking so much about what we need to do and allow them just to happen seamlessly. And that's what really allows you to sit back, relax, and really enjoy the moment. Now, the team planning really helps bring my family together. And I've mentioned that we call ourselves Team Dalton. And I think that's why this is so important. This is an opportunity for us to get together as a team and hear what everyone has going on. We're scratching a little bit further beneath the surface than just the hey, how was school today conversation that happens at dinner. This is a time for us to dive in, talk about the projects, talk about the things that are going on in each other's lives and really start to understand one another. Now the tool that I use is called the Weekly Kickstart and here's what the Weekly Kickstart looks like. You could do this activity with a regular sheet of paper, but I believe so strongly in doing this team planning that I created a notepad specifically for this. So I'll have a link to this in the comment section below. So if you're interested in getting a hold of a weekly kickstart, that's where you'll find the link. Now, the way it works is this. I gather my family together and let me introduce you first of all to my family. It's me, my husband John, my son Jack, and my daughter Kate. Now, I know my kids are bigger, but I started team planning when they were really, really young. And what we do is we get together every Sunday afternoon. Generally, it's around three o'clock in the afternoon, but we give it a little bit of flexibility and we allow us just to meet whenever there's time. So usually it's before dinner time. And what we do is we sit around the table and we plan together. Now, this planning is specifically for my family. I'm not doing any work planning at this time. This is just me connecting with my team at home. And here's what we do. We start by going through our calendar. We take a look at our calendars and we figure out what are the dates for the different activities we have going on. Things like volleyball practice, play practice, orthodontist appointments. These things that are already scheduled into our calendar. And we go ahead and we put them in. This really allows my kids to be empowered to know when they need to be dressed and ready for volleyball or when they need to have their teeth brushed to go to the orthodontist. This gives them the power and the control to be ready to go. Now, I also put my appointments in there as well because I think that helps for everyone to know what's going on. And then next, we put in our due dates for the week. So these are projects that are due sometime in the week ahead. Book reports, science fair projects, and so on. Things that need to be completed sometime in the next couple of days. Now this is not just for the due dates for my kids. John and I both put our big due dates in there, the things that affect our families. Things like launching of our planners, printer deadlines, manuscript due dates. And this is what's key in my opinion. 
my kids understand when they see my due dates in there that this might be a stressful time for me. So they can pick up the slack and give me a little bit of grace when mom's a tiny bit cranky because I'm tired. So it really does enable them to support me, which is something we don't think about often, letting our children support us. And then next you can plug in your chores. So you can plug in any of the daily chores, laundry day, vacuuming, so on. Pop them here at the bottom with a space so that the kids can check them off once they're complete. And then next we do our tasks. We go through and I ask about any upcoming projects and we decide together as a team what action steps need to happen this week. Here's the deal. I'm trying to teach my kids to learn how to break down big projects. So right now I can really help establish a routine for them where they understand how to take these big items and break them down and make them into manageable tasks. So I help keep them accountable by setting these mini milestones. Now, as my kids have gotten older, I've made them be a little bit more in charge of when these little mini due dates are going to be set. And I help establish whether that's a realistic timeline or not. And then I just make sure that they stay on track. And then we ask what other tasks need to be done throughout the week. The little things like fertilizing the yard, picking up the fertilizer for the yard, and so on. And we put them underneath. And then we decide together what our top five priorities are for the week. What are the big things that absolutely positively need to happen? What I love about this is this calls out these tasks so we know we definitely need to get these important items done. What I love most about team planning is it allows me to stop micromanaging my family. Listen, no one likes to be micromanaged, and that includes your kids. And quite frankly, I don't enjoy being the nag, the person who has to remind everyone what projects are due or what chores need to be done. This allows my team, my family, to be empowered to know what needs to happen next. They're accountable for getting their work done. So each day when they come home from work or from school, First thing we do is we check our weekly kickstart and that tells us what needs to happen that afternoon. So that way on days when Kate has volleyball practice, she knows she needs to be dressed and ready to go and she knows exactly what time we're leaving. No more questions for mom, no more hustling people out the door. Everyone knows what they need to be doing. And I think that's really empowering, not just for your team, but also for you. It allows you to spend your time not reminding people of what they need to do, but on the things that really matter most. Really spending your time on what you want to be spending it on. So each week, one of the things that we do is when we sit down for our team planning, we look over the weeks before weekly kickstart. So we look over it and we see what went really well and what didn't. And then we talk about it together, about what we could do to work a little bit harder together as a team so that everyone is taking care of what they need to get done. And then we start our planning again. And this happens every week for us. So I'd love to know in the comments below, what day will you do team planning? What day do you want to sit your family together and actively plan together as a team? As I mentioned, I do mine on Sunday afternoons and that's what works for my family. But there might be a day that works better for you. That might be Saturdays or Friday evenings. Some people might wanna do it on Monday mornings before work and before school. Now, if you love this idea of traditions and really creating these recurring events for your family to bring you closer together, I do have a podcast episode, episode 88, where we talk about traditions and the different types of traditions and how to instill them in your family. So you might wanna give that a listen. I'm going to put the link to that in the notes below. I'll also include a link to that weekly kickstart if you're interested in taking a look at that on our website. That link will be in the notes section below. All right. Until next time, have a beautiful and productive week.